Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Stitch Fix video as you can see from the title, which is a little bit different from my regular video. Um, I haven't done a ton of these styling videos. I've only done a fashion one before, um, but I wanted to give Stitch Fix a go. And basically you fill out a profile about your style and then you have a stylist who picks different items out for you um, and you can pick what you want and return the rest. I do have a link that I will leave down below if you're interested in signing up for Stitch Fix. Um, and you do, I think for your first box, you don't pay a styling fee, but then after that you pay $20 every time for the styling fee. But if you purchase anything from the box, that $20 gets added to it. So it's like, you don't have to pay the 20 if you pick something. It's a little bit cheaper, if that makes sense. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of subscription box unboxing videos here from makeup, home decor, fashion, beauty, bath, food, and everything in between. So if you're into subscription boxes, go ahead and subscribe and let's go ahead and see what I got this time. So when you open up the box, this is what it looks like. You do get a prepaid envelope to ship back anything that you don't want. Um, my, I have the app and it says that I need to return it by the 16th, but Monday is a holiday. Holiday, so the post office is closed. So I don't know how that's gonna work. I may need to reach out to customer service about that Then I guess this envelope tells you about the pricing and then you have the bundle of stuff inside All right, so this is what my bundle looks like um, And I will go ahead and show everything here And then I'll show myself trying it on and talk about if I want to keep anything or not so what's really cool is it shows you how you can style some of the different items, which is interesting. So it says, hi Katrina, welcome to Stitch Fix. I'm excited to style your very first fix. I hope you love everything I've picked out, but let me know and we can fine tune it together. I've put together a mix of pieces that will be great for um, work, the weekends and going out. Um, first, the smock dress you requested. I did request a smock dress. Um, I couldn't find a long one, but this Sam Edelman dress does not disappoint. It's perfect for a night out. I know it has a little higher price point than you'd like, but the detail and quality are unparalleled. Um, next is the skies are blue blazer in a bright and fun teal color to your work look. How is this length of this one? The 1822 denim is a staple skinny jean. Since you're unsure of your jean size, we will work together to find the size that's right for you. Pair these jeans with a pink clover for a great weekend look. XOGR. So that is super fun. So let's go ahead and go through. Now I'm somebody who doesn't spend a lot of money on my clothes, honestly, um, unless it's like a super high quality item. So we'll see how these prices compare to what I normally spend for myself. All right. So the first thing that I am pulling out is this shirt here with this beautiful lace trim. And then on the back, it has a little kind of cut out like this. And this is the Madison and Belle Alicia back detail lace trim top. My size is small. This is really cute cute. Now this is not something that I would normally buy for myself and I don't know if like the, everyone was telling me I wore a lavender shirt the other day and everyone was telling me that they really loved it. So that is this here. Again I'll try it on so we can see it a little bit better and this retails for $36 which is not unreasonable for a shirt like this um but I'm really cheap with clothes like I said so I don't know if I would spend 36 but we will try it on. So the next piece that I'm pulling out is this dress with smocking. And so this is a short dress. Actually, I think this is like way, way, way too short for me. Um, so I don't think that this will be a yes, but I will still try it on. So this is a dress with smocking. It has these clear sleeves. Um, and this is again in a size for a small. And this is their Reese smocked dress in black. This retails for $108. And I can already pretty much tell you that I don't, I would not spend that on this dress just because it's, I um, tend to dress a little more conservatively. And this is more of a shirt than a dress for me, but I will still try it on just so you guys can see it. So this next top is from Pink Clover. And this is an Artemis button down back shirt in light gray. So the back has these button details, which is really cute. Does it actually unbutton? Oh, it does actually unbutton. So if you wanted your back to be out, like you could literally unbutton the entire back. Um, well, not the entire, you could unbutton up to the top. And then the back of the um, like sleeves has a little elbow pad. Now elbow pads are a little bit weird because if it doesn't hit you at the right spot, then it can come off a little bit weird. So they, it feels so like so soft. I just want to like take a nap in this. Um, but I'll give it a try on. I don't know how it would wash because it is so soft, but again, I will try it on and this retails for $44. So one thing that I put in my profile is that I really like blazers. I wear blazers to work every day and I want to get some more fun, different color ones, different pattern ones. So this one here is from Skies Are Blue and this is a turquoise blue blazer. It has the ruffled sleeves and the inside has this fun kind of pattern lining. 
and this retails for um, $78 and this is the Raja Collarless Blazer. So I'm excited to give this a go. I've never tried the ruffled sleeve just because if you wear long sleeves you're or a sweater that's long, it would come out. But I'm excited to try this on. This is probably the most likely item that I'd be keeping, um, just because I really love blazers, and that's something that I'm willing to spell, spend a little bit more on, just because I know I'll wear it to work. And then the last item is a pair of jeans from 1822 Denim. And these are the winter skinny jeans in indigo and they are a size four, which is my size. Um, so I'm excited to give these a go. And these retail for $40, which for jeans I think is pretty reasonable. So that is everything that I got in my fix. Let me show you it on my body and then I will talk about a little bit more about pricing. It looks like, and I'll talk about this again at the end, um, the style it pick, the total would be 306. If I buy everything, it's a $25 discount, so 76.50 off, making my total um, 229.50. I guess I have a credit of 25 because I signed up. With, I signed up on, with somebody's referral link, so I think maybe if you sign up with somebody's referral link, you get $25 off. Um, and then shipping is free and you get it, it would be $204.50 to keep everything. All right, so here is the dress. I don't dislike it. I just, it's shorter. Oh, there's the tags hanging out. Oops. Um, it's just kind of shorter than I would normally go for. It does kind of have like an underskirt underneath. The quality is good and it is actually cute. Um, so now I'm kind of torn because I do kind of like it. I just don't know where I would wear it to. Um, but it is really pretty. But if I like bend down, it's like questionable because my like butt ends there you know what I mean so it's like a, I can go out but I have to be careful what I do kind of dress so let me come closer so I could not wear my bra with it like I'm wearing right now I think I'd have to go braless and or like strapless but I don't really have big enough boobs to go strapless because then I have no boobs but it's really cute I don't know if I like this detail on the shoulder let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm not sure that I'm willing to spend a hundred on this dress. I want a dress with flocking, but again, I prefer, I want like a long dress with flocking. So I think this is probably gonna be a no, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I, but I think, I think I'm not going to just because it's a, such a high price point. I just don't think it is worth it. Um, it's nice if this was like past my knees, I think I would be willing to spend the money. I just don't like it for, with this length basically. Okay, I think I'm an idiot. I actually think you're supposed to wear it like this. Now, obviously I can't wear a bra with it because you know what I mean, but now that's actually cute. Um, but I still don't think I'm going to spend the money on it. But if you're like, oh my God, Katrina, like obviously I would not be wearing like anything, no bra, no nothing. So I'm not sure that my boobs are big enough to even hold that up, but it's a little bit cuter this way. It's just not, I just don't think I'd ever wear this to be honest. Okay. So here is the next look. I'm wearing the jeans as well as the top. The jeans actually look really good on me. They have all these extra like big tag things that I obviously don't want to take off. I'm not sure if I'm keeping them yet. They have the fake pockets up front. The only thing is like they fit me, but they're like a little bit loose. Like I feel like I'd have to wear a belt with them or I'd constantly be like doing that kind of motion to um, pull them up but they look good like they, they look good but I don't think I need another pair of jeans right now for a fit like this it's just it fits but it's a little bit loose if that makes sense and then this top I like the top I don't like this and I don't like what it's doing to, it's making me look like I feel like it's making me look wider here um, like I know that I'm skinny and everything but I don't know I just don't feel like it's flattering um, at that part of my body even take that away and the back of it is I guess it's cute. I can't really see it, but I'm not really sure. Like, I like the color of it a lot. Like, I think that this is really, like, pretty on my face. I'm just going to get down and kneel so you can see better. I think that that's pretty, but, and the back detail is cute, but I really just don't like this band here. It just draws the attention to that part of my body. So I think that the shirt's a no, and I think that the jeans are going to be a no, but let me try on the last shirt and the blazer. All right, so here is the blazer and the shirt. I love the color of the blazer. I don't mind these ruffles at all. The one thing that's bugging me about the blazer is it doesn't feel like it's hitting my shoulder at the right place. Like when I feel it, it is. But if I come up closer and you see, it just feels like this should be over a little bit further. When I stand, I don't know. Like, I don't know, is that not hitting me at the right spot? I'm not very sure. 
And for $78, I don't know if I love it enough to get that with the shoulders being an issue. Um, but it's not bad. It's cute. It's a pretty color blazer, but this is one I'm gonna have to think about this a little bit more. Now the shirt, let me go ahead and take the blazer off. Um, and the shirt, um, is a really pretty pattern. I think it's really pretty. It's super soft. I don't know if I love the little like whoop on the back of it, <laughs> but the th reason why I'm not going to get the shirt is the elbow pads so that that's my elbow there. These should be on top of my elbow. So they totally hit me at the complete wrong spot. They're on my upper arm, not on my elbow. So they're going to just, it's just going to kind of look stupid if I'm wearing it. You know what I mean? Cause really ideally that needs to be further down for it to be like the elbow pad in the right spot, if that makes sense. But it is super soft and super cute. And if it didn't wasn't for those elbow pads, I think I would probably purchase this. Um, but because of that, it's not. So I, the blazer is the only thing I'm debating about keeping. Um, and I need to think about this a little bit more because it is like $78, which is pretty expensive for a blazer. So I'm gonna have to try this on with a couple of my own shirts and just kind of see if it's something that I'd wear. Obviously, this is my first stitch fix, so they don't really know my style 100% yet, which is why there's so many things that I probably won't keep. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Again, I will leave a link down below if you are interested in signing up. Now, you do have the option to subscribe monthly, not subscribe at all, and then there's bi-monthly. I did bi-monthly, so this will kind of be an every other month type of video. Do you like these videos? Do you want to keep seeing me do fashion videos? I'm curious to hear your thoughts because I can be trying other subscription services as well but please let me know if this is something you're into if not I can stop doing them all together um, and I did check the app so this did say that I needed to put, get it in the mail by Monday the 17th but because that's President's Day and they're closed I just went in to the app and said extend by three days so now I have until the 20th so in case you were wondering it's super easy this is so comfy I wish the elbow pads were at the right spot <laughs> so anyway um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I will see you in my next video